So I'm walking up to see Captain West because he's not, he's no longer Captain West. He's, uh, I'm, I'm talking to myself. He's now been bumped from the conductor to the uh, engineer. So I want to go up there and see what he was, how it was for him to drive that train. And he wasn't there at all. He's gone. He's not on the same train apparently, which is too bad. Anyway, I walk out and one of the supervisors shall remain nameless by request. <laughs> Better get the drawer for Jackie. Al, how Hi, are Jackie, you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So one of the says, hey, Al, come here. And I go over there and he says, Al, that shirt, that shirt. You can't be wearing that shirt. And I said, well, wait a minute. I, I had problems with the heat. And Peggy, you know, said I could wear this shirt. He goes, well, and I said, I wouldn't be doing it otherwise because I, you know, I know that the rules are the rules. But when I'm getting hot, and I'm getting hot out here because this shirt is a whole lot thicker than it, this it, shirt. Yeah, it's even she knows, yeah. So, anyway, he goes, okay, well, will you tuck it in at least? Because everybody's talking about you. And I said, okay. Well, everybody's always talking about me, man. I'm the most hated man in China. Huh? Do I have to tuck mine in? <laughs> no, but I had to tuck mine in just to make him happy. <laughs> you, know, I wanna, you know, I don't want to get him. these supervisors riled over them. So I tucked it in anyway. You know, I only wear this shirt when it's hot because I'm sitting in the sun and I'm getting hot. I mean, it's, it's serious. And as soon as it gets cooler, I put the jacket over it or, or change the shirt. So I have my extra shirt in there. And that's the story. So what, what you seeing all these white shirts downtown that you've never seen? I've never seen these people I know this, this whole so system her. is crawling with white shirts. We asked her what? Who are these people? I don't know. I asked her who the hell she was. And she, and she, and she was, says, oh, I'm head scheduler. This is head scheduler? How come you're not dressed accordingly? What would she look like? Uh -uh. They can wear street clothes. I know. Yeah, right, they don't have to wear these uniforms. Mm -hmm. I Only the lowest of the low trimed have to wear these blue, uncomfortable. Yeah. You, me, and yeah. the white shirt. Well, the white shirt, I checked the, the white shirt shirt. It's actually much more fine mesh than this shirt, which are surprised me. Although the white shirts, you know, they've had the same white shirt forever. They only changed our shirt recently. Right. Anyway, who, who, I think Jackie brought up a good point. Who in the hell are all these white shirts? And why aren't they driving these buses? How, many, how much supervision do we people need? I've never seen I know, before. they promoted them all from bus drivers. You know, they've got a very nice, well, very nice cross section of the demographic. You see how well they've hired, they put them all like certain. How many supervisors does it take to stand and watch us if we make a stop there? How many? The downtown. Five I've seen already. <laughs> downtown, I gotta get out of here. all sitting in a row. There was three or Sitting in a row? Like, <laughs> sitting, sitting on a, a stone wall last night. <laughs> five of them sitting there. Yeah, that's hilarious. It was cute. That's a good job, man. 35 bucks an hour for sitting on a stone wall. Oh, but, I, yeah, I but these people are coming from the low, they're low, low seniority. Yeah, well, seniority, they just, they don't go by that, unfortunately. They yeah, go by demographic. I'm convinced they go by demographic. They want so many blacks, so many whites, so many women, so many, so many Hispanic. That's what they do. I'm sure, I swear that's what they're doing. I've been watching this organization for a long time. They've and got white hair. Gets paid. A lot of people with white hair are now supervisors. Oh, uh, well, that means they're so old. They're going gets paid for hiring minorities. Yes, maybe so. See ya. And we will now demonstrate Hi. that we have our correct jacket here see and we have our uh, just so that people know that I'm not pulling a fast one and we have our uh, legal shirt see there it is everybody so this is just when it's hot and it's not gonna be that hot any longer so I'm gonna change it so don't get upset everybody it's, it's just a shirt here we are beautiful Rock Creek yeah you know the only reason I wore this shirt today anyway I, I gone back completely to the regulation uniform but yesterday I really got overheated and um, you know in, in a job where you're driving a vehicle you really don't want to allow yourself to get overheated and uh, you know there's always a potential for something bad to happen so I took the extra precaution of pulling out this shirt today and uh, along with my regulation jackets and my regulation shirt which is uh, as I've shown you, it's right here, my regulation shirt, right there. So, I'm in compliance. Now, you know, luckily our upper management's a little bit more tolerant of, uh, of uh, different kinds of conditions than some of our bottom line management. But I've known that for years. I mean, 
but no, no, nonetheless, you know, the supervisor was nice about it, so it was hard to argue with when they're when they're really nice and rational. It's hard to argue with people when they're being uh, respectful and nice. So anyway, I got my new shirt. I'm going to put it back on, and I guess now this this last little heat wave thing is over, and I'll go back to the regulation shirt, and then everybody will be happy. You know, I tend to not wear that many clothes anyway, left to my own devices. But when it's hot, you know, I'm just not a person that dresses up. I hate stuff all covering up my neck and, you know, I just don't like it. It's just uncomfortable for me. So, that's the story uh, from the 67 line. We have uh, supervisory intervention. Um, oh, speaking of Peggy Hansen, by the way. Hold on a minute. Here's, a, here's from the uh, something that... Uh, you know, we had our first uh, female grandmaster operator, which is which I think is very very uh, significant. And you have your usual, you know, form letter here. I'll sign my name on a form letter here. But then at the end, she kind of put a nice little handwritten note. You you achieved your goal. Now she knew that that was Linda's goal. That was Linda's goal. So the, you are the first woman to achieve grandmaster. Congratulations. Thank you for what you contribute each and every day. Yeah, see, now, I, I believe her when she says that. You know, she knew about that goal. So, obviously, she's paying attention. And that's good. That's good, you know. Management's connected. Upper management's got some connection here. Uh, Peggy Hansen, of course, has been here forever, and she started as an operator, went over as a supervisor. Now she's director of all the buses and, uh, you know, does a damn good job, from what I can see. I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't see any problems. I mean, people, I hear various stories, but you always hear that about managers and and uh, directors, etc. But you know, nobody can be popular all the time. If you're in charge of stuff, somebody's going to get pissed at you because that's the way it is. Always remember one thing: much more important to look good than to do good. Awful lot of supervisors around here lately. Are they here right now? Are they watching me? Is it me they're after? Are they after? I'm such a nice guy. Why are they after me all the time? Here's Samantha. Where are those supervisors? They're, they're, look, they're out for me. 